What is this like for you knowing that, you know, no matter how far you go, you're still in the last days of a Clemson career? So it's definitely a little different. Um, the past couple of years, especially since we're going somewhere this year, the past couple of years we've hosted a regional here, which has been awesome. Just being able to watch, you know, Clemson called up on the TV and kind of go over Doug King's more really cool feeling. Um, but, you know, it hasn't really worked out the way we wanted it to or anyone really at Clemson fans have wanted it to the past couple of years hosting here. Um, I think it's going to be good for us. I think on the road we do a good job of staying focused. There's no distractions. We're with, we're with the team 24-7 uh, pretty much, uh, sleeping with rooming with guys on the team, eating with guys on the team, everything we do is with the team. So I think, we're gonna, I think we play well on the road and we're looking forward to it going, going into this weekend. Um, I mean, we're just we're excited about it. I mean, it's, it's something different. We get to go up tomorrow, actually. We're going up early tomorrow, so we're gonna, we got a couple of days of practice um, just to have fun. That's the main thing. We're going to have fun this weekend. Um, got to get back to what we do, just playing baseball and having fun and playing it the right way. But, yeah, it's definitely a weird feeling, you know, coming into the last couple of days or the last couple, you know, weeks, whatever it is, coming to an end, uh, definitely a little bit. Well, kind of a, a sad feeling, I guess you'd say. You know, we we uh, we got in the tournament, so we got a few more practices here. Um, our time at Doug Keys more running out, but uh, you know, we uh, we enjoy the past couple of years for sure. Is it important to you to make this run last as long as you possibly can? Oh, absolutely. I mean, going into going into the kind of the selection show, um, there's a little bit of uh, nervousness, I guess you'd say, um, kind of whether we're going to get in, kind of on the bubble somewhat. Um, so it definitely helps you kind of stay humble to the fact that you know you're a Clemson baseball player, and you know even if I mean I've graduated now, so that feels really good. But you know to think that I'm not going to be here that much longer is kind of an odd thought. So I'm definitely cherishing the last few moments that we get to spend as a team. What are your plans for next Tuesday? Next Tuesday? The draft. He's hoping Monday. I think. Yeah. Oh, uh, Monday. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. Um, I don't really have any plans. Just whoever, probably some of my best friends and family just get together and uh, hopefully we're still playing. Well. I guess there's a there's an opportunity to play on Monday. I don't know if it'll work out like that. I think you can win it on Sunday. I'm not yeah. sure how that works. But uh, like I said, hopefully we're still playing at least Sunday night and uh, win the whole thing in Oxford. Okay. Uh, how hard is it not to be thinking about Monday? I know you're four or five days away from that, but how? Yeah. It's not that hard at this point. I think it's something you learn earlier in the season, I guess you would say, um, just coming up to it. I mean, it's been the whole the whole season long. You, I mean, it's like it's there. It's at the end of the thing. But as far as as far as I mean, I'm not worried about anything. I think uh, the main thing is that you you put the focus on the team and winning with the Clemson Tigers. That's why I'm here in the first place is to play for Clemson and win a lot of games for Clemson baseball. Um, so put the main focus on that, like I've been doing all year. And it'll take care of itself. What did y'all do to, to stay together during that eight game losing streak and all those things that were going on? People things people were saying out there about you guys. Yeah, I mean. Honestly, personally, I learned not to look at any outside sources, especially when things are going bad, because it's never going to be anything that you want to hear. Um, it's just going to be things that are going to even drive you further down, possibly. Uh, there's definitely quite a few team meetings, both player-led and coach-led. Um, just kind of keeping morale up is the main thing. I mean, it is baseball. You're going to go through spurts like that. Um, but that was that was the main focus for us, was keeping energy in the dugout, regardless how you know the, the wins and loss column was going. Just stay energized, keep having fun, keep competing together as a team. That was a big one, is kind of playing as a team instead of just like placing blame or so and so here or there. Just play as a team, like pick your guys up. Um, if the guy's getting hit around a little bit, maybe you got to pick somebody off, make a nice play. You got to pick your teammates up. That's one of the things we learned over that spurt. Um, but yeah. Did y'all do any team bonding or anything like that during those times that, uh, other than the meetings? We have kind of uh, sporadic team bonding. I can't really remember if we did one during that time, but we're we're actually planning one for tonight or maybe in Oxford. Um, but yeah, that's always a good time. Just to get together as a team. It's, it's just having fun. Just make sure we kind of keep our minds off baseball too. Sometimes you gotta take a step back. Uh, just have some fun with the guys. Was that was that day off of the beach uh, kind of a turning point for you guys? Yeah, that was that was that was awesome. I mean, they put us up in a really nice house. We had there's several houses because there's too many of us obviously. Um, just right there on the beach had like a pool, hot tub, all that kind of stuff awesome experience like that was I'll remember that for the rest of my life how fun that was just to be able to spend the spend the day with the guys on the beach and we went to do go-karts and all, all kind of stuff uh, so it's really cool that we get to do stuff like that but I, I mean that definitely helped you I guess we won four out of six after that and just against good ball clubs too so that I mean sometimes a day off can help a lot yeah you know this is college baseball it doesn't matter what you did in March or April even the first part of May it's a team that gets hot yep exactly right Are you guys aware of that and have you talked about that 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 hey we're, we're playing pretty good right now yeah that's exactly right I mean it's not like you can just flip a switch and say oh we're hot right now yeah uh, but it, it is definitely momentum 
Um, I think we, I mean, we just came off a nice win against Louisville, seven to one. Uh, Matt Clark doing his thing. Um, really, really excited for him. Uh, looking forward to him starting this weekend. Um, but I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, it's the, it's the team that is playing the best baseball at the right times. And uh, we're definitely capable of doing that right now. Talk a little bit about Matt. I mean, he, he going into that game, there was still a question of whether you guys were going to get get into the regional or not. And he comes in and he throws a kind of game like that. Yeah, I mean, that, he's got ice in his veins. We call him Matty Ice for <laughs> for a reason. I mean, he's he's he gets it done all the time. Every time he goes out there, you know he's going to get outs. Sometimes it's like, how is this guy getting outs? He's throwing 83, 85, but he misses barrels. He throws cutters, um, change ups, curveballs. He's just a crafty lefty. That's what he does. He gets outs. I mean. Um, we're excited to see him go this weekend for sure. He's fun to he's fun to play behind. And now that you guys have had a day to kind of absorb everything, yesterday everyone was on the edge of their seats. Now you've had a day to really think about going into this tournament. How how is everyone feeling? I think we're feeling really good, really good. I mean, we got a nice scrimmage in yesterday after the selection show. Uh, played seven innings, got some BP in before that. A nice little lift after that. Um, I thought guys threw the ball well, hit well, played defense well. I mean, I think we're going in the top of our game right now. Um, we know we're going to get another good practice in a day. We've got Tiger BP. Uh, we won't, I think we have weights tomorrow. We get two practices in Oxford, which is pretty cool. Usually you only get that one Thursday night, but we're actually going up tomorrow morning. I think we're flying at like 11, so we'll get there in time to practice. Um, just get a good meal with the team after, after the practice. And then Thursday we also have a practice, and then Friday we're playing, obviously. So I'm excited about that. What does it say about Jacob Hennessy?